because this is what happens. You have sad children, heartbroken children, children who act out, children who don't know how to express themselves because they're wondering why they're feeling all of these emotions because they're too busy trying to avoid their parent acting out in anger because they can't validate their emotions. They can't break it down and put it into words how they're feeling. They have to walk on eggshells to try to make you happy, but it's the same thing with these children. Have you ever been through moments in your life, Aquarius, when you weren't happy and it felt like everything was zoning in on you? Your chores get left behind, you're falling back in class, you're falling back in, at work, and your, you, 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 your house got out of control, you done gained a lot of weight, and you're like, fuck, why do I feel like that? That same thing goes for children. They start failing in school. They start, uh, they room getting out of control. They binge eating. You're like, you're under, or they biting their damn nails off all the time. Trust me, we've all been children before. So we forget that they have feelings too. That they experience things too. That they are people too. And they're not always going to have it. And they're not going to be able to always walk in a straight line. Because just like we're living life, they are living life too. So while you think that you're on a new beginning and you're reaching for the stars and you're feeling so great because you're at the mountain and you're so ready to jump over it. You're so happy for all the progress you made. And you're like, yes, I feel great. And then this child is still dwelling in that shit. And you're like, come on. Why, 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 why am I dragging you? Why, 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 why do I have to pull so hard to get you to fall back in line? Because they're not there yet. And it seems like there hasn't been a lot of focus on that either. It's like you getting therapy, but there's no therapy for the child. You getting help, you getting better. They're not getting better. You found out a way to, to, to deal with your pain. They have not found that yet. So whoever I'm picking up on today, I feel like the message for today is that even though you're making all of these changes, I think that there are some other considerations that need to be considered at this time. And for a lot of you guys, it's the children. Somebody's child needs help. Yeah, etheric cords. Look at that. Etheric cords. This is generational curses. These are generational cycles. These are the, the, the after effect. Okay. Some of y'all, it's important to do cord cutting rituals, not just on yourself, but on your children. You have to do these cord cutting rituals because these, these could be generational cycles. And if you left a relationship and it was a lot of trauma, it was a lot of pain and it's unfortunate, but are those, those, curses they get passed down to our next generation so the things that you could have dealt with when you were um you could have dealt with addiction you could have been with a partner who dealt with addiction you could have dealt with low self-esteem insecurities and karmic behavior and it passed down to the child so now you have to not only do work on yourself you have to do work on your children too because they have to also learn or out learn or um break or cut ties with those karmic pattern those karmic patterns those karmic cycles because when you are in a karmic relationship before you get in a relationship with your divine counterpart if you end up marrying or getting in a relationship and having children with a karmic partner what happens here is that now your children have been passed down that karmic cycle so you're fighting to break generational curses for you but they're also fighting to break generational curses from you. And that's what this is giving. So if addiction is a karmic generational curse for you, your child now has to battle with trying to beat addiction. 
beat teen pregnancy. Like that shit right there is the, these are curses that happens when you marry or get in a relationship with a karmic partner. Now they have those karmic ways or you produced while you were still in karmic energy. So now you have children who have been passed down a curse and it is what it is, but you're, you're supposed to work with them hand in hand in hand. That's why family is everything. You work with them hand in hand to break free of those karmic cycles. It is what it is. Whoever their parent is, it doesn't matter. It's not about fault. It's about because you yourself could be in karmic energy and you could have passed this down to your child because now there is children here who need help breaking a generational curse here. It's about accountability. We have to take accountability. We're not always right and we're not always sane. We're not always aware of the choices that we make and the damage that they do. Trust me, it's been talked about time and time of karmic children. Doesn't have to be the case here. You can heal, you can break free or break these chains, break these patterns. But one thing you don't want to do is keep confusing, causing confusion. It's like, are we healing? Are we not? Are we growing? Are we not? Are we learning? or Are we not? It's confusing. So if you're done with somebody, cut the cord. Don't confuse them anymore. Yes, look at that. Another card with this woman and these children. Soul forgiveness. I can't make these readings up. I know what I'm looking at. I can't make it up. Soul forgiveness. This is you having to forgive yourself. Some of y'all, you, you, you knew a situation was karmic and you still brought more children into it. It doesn't make you a bad person, but you have to, this, you have to forgive your soul. You can't sit here and some of y'all, you're tired. You're like, what did I do? I got all these problems. Maybe you got children. Maybe they. Have, you feel like they had a control. Or they're always crying. Or they're always this. They're always that. You're like, what did I do to deserve this? This is just something you're going to have to work through. This is a part of soul forgiveness. This is a part of becoming back into alignment with your divine purpose. It doesn't mean it's over for you. This isn't a hindrance for you. It's just you're going to have to do a little more work. It is what it is. But that's the life that you chose. Look, I didn't even realize 27, 28. So it starts with etheric cords. So you have to cut the cord in order to move forward to soul forgiveness. Some of y'all, you don't want to let go of this family. You're like, I, I had this family. I had this idea. I had this life. This is what I want. But let's be real. It's karmic. It was not meant for you to lay your eggs there and build a foundation, but you did anyway. Doesn't mean that you're a terrible person because you have to accept the fact that some of y'all may be meant or you may have to deal with being a single parent while you figure out your stuff, while you get your children together, while you heal yourself and you get back on your journey. But it's, it's to tell you the truth, you're going to have to put some work into these children. You're going to have to because they were born in a toxic environment for whoever I'm picking up on. I just got to keep it so real in these readings. It says pleasure. You're going to get back to that place again. Okay. You're going to get back to that place. 11. Have faith. Have faith. You're going to get back into that place. Things are going to align for you. You're going to be able to have a great time and enjoy yourself. Rage. Look at that. We got rage coming out here. Why is Medusa here? Holy Spirit. Might be a lot of anger or a lot of resentment built up here. Yeah, shame. Some of y'all, you really, this could, like, like I said, this could be a marriage or a divorce or a long-term relationship. You you had children with them. You, you had a whole foundation with them. You could be angry, okay, upset that this is, this is your life now or something like that. But at the end of the day, do not be ashamed. Uh, we all make mistakes and we all wish that things could have been different. But at the end of the day... Do not stay in that place of anger. You have to deal with those emotions so that you can heal your family. Because you're the head of the household, it looks like. Here, yes, joy. And look at that. 
she's breastfeeding her children because when the mom is happy or dad, whoever's involved here, when you are happy, your, your children receive that love. They receive that abundance. They receive that security. They receive that self-love from you because how your foundation is, how you are, that's how your home is going to be. Okay. And if you're not taking care of yourself or if you're not, um, making sure that you really instill these things, these morals, these values into your foundation, these children are just going to come from where you are emotionally. And some of y'all, you have a lot of anger built up, a lot of uh, sadness built up, a lot of um, something with the rage here. Some of y'all, it's a lot of anger. It's a lot of resentment that you need to deal with. Because if you don't, it could, like I said, have a long-term effect. Some of y'all, it could be impatience. There's a lot of impatient energy. And if you're not patient with them, you're going to have children grow up to be impatient. If you're not dealing with your emotions in the right way and you're having these anger outbursts, you're going to deal with angry children. I'm just keeping it real. You're going to pass down everything that you are today to these children. So you have to practice self-awareness. You have to see what's going on to figure out what you need to do to make sure that your foundation, your family does not re um, um, relive out these karmic cycles. Cut the pattern. Cut it now while you, are, while you have time. Cut it now, especially while they're young. Even if they're not young and you feel like it's too late for them, there is always perfect time for change. And this is the perfect time for that. Okay? Bring joy, happiness, love, fun back into your household. Because this is needed. Wow. Growing pains. Healing, patience, and unconscious. I can't make these readings up. Some of y'all, these may be unconscious behaviors. Things that you're not aware of or things that you're not able to see because you're so caught up in the moment. You're just surviving right now. Or you're so caught up with trying to find your happy place or find joy in your life again. That you may not realize that these are all a part of the growing pains. Um, and you're going to have to have a little more grace, a little more patience with yourself and with your children. Okay? Have grace not only for yourself, but have grace for these children. Okay? If you are healing, have grace for yourself. And if you're healing, have grace for them too. Because they are healing too. They are recovering too. All right? Somebody here, you got to have a little more patience with your children. I don't think that this is to make you feel bad. This is to give you awareness that you got to have a little more patience with them. They're healing. Yes, Mira, self-reflection, writer, bigger picture. Did you forget all that you had to go through to be you? Man. Your guides want you to see the bigger picture here. Yes, like I said, self-reflected self-reflection self-awareness okay you are the writer of this story meaning that at the end of the day this is your life and you determine how the story ends from here does it end with that struggling single mom or that struggling sad person who went through all that in their life and they had to yeah now i'm picking up on that lady i work two jobs like that's what this energy is it's like does that really have to be your story okay it could be something totally different. It could be whatever it is that you choose to make it, okay? You could be that fun mom or that fun dad or that person. You could be whoever you want to be. But at the end of the day, this is who you are and this is the pay the picture that you're painting. Don't let this sadness or whatever you went through be your story, okay? Your story could be, that could be your testimony. But don't let it be your story. Don't let it be your future. You know, you could rewrite. You could write whatever. You could be whoever you want to be. And remember that. You don't have to be that that widower or that that divorced woman who, who's dealing with all of these problems you don't have to be that that doesn't have to be your life um even if it is your life you can make it whatever you want it to be i know it's easier said than done it'll make sense to you when it's time look at that blessings and a curse psyche self-love beauty do not be ashamed of your thorns or your flowers if you are protecting yourself and you have your guard up here it's okay i feel like you've been through a lot and you have a reason to have your trust issues but know that you are beautiful um and know even if you are flawed even if you do have your things that you're not proud of it makes you you and at the end of the day if people people can either fuck with you or they just don't 
It doesn't mean that something's wrong with you. It just means that, hey, Aquarius has been through some things in her life. And Aquarius is going to come with, I wouldn't say baggage, but you're going to come with a, 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 what is it, a telescope? Is that what it's called? You're going to make sure that you really look into things, zone into things. And you're going to want to see, you know, everything, all of a person before you let them in or before you truly trust them. And this could even be with your children as well. If this is love, a relationship, you're like, before I let a man or before I let a woman around my children, you know, I just want to be sure that this person is really here and it's good that you're doing that because you're going to show them that it is important to be with someone who truly loves and really cares about you and really reflects self-love themselves onto these children onto your foundation because that's going to mean everything to them because it looks like they're looking for what you're looking for and that's a home and and a home is wherever you are Aquarius so you have to make it a home Okay, you may have a house, but you got to make it a home. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking for home again. And if some of y'all, you haven't been yourself in a long time, they're just looking for you to find yourself, even if you don't have that partner. They still love you for you. But they're just looking for you to go back to a version of yourself that they miss, which is the version who made that house a home. All right. So if you've been feeling empty inside, of course, they know. Don't think you're hiding it. They know. This message is for somebody in particular. They know. I know that I am the only one who determines what is and isn't right for me. I am the final say. Don't let nobody tell you how to live your life. Because that could be another thing why you're having issues with this person. Because they still want to control you even though you're not together. I know that my journey will have highs and lows. But I am aiming for progress. Exactly. And that could go for your children as well. They may go through moments where they're doing really well, and they may go through moments where they're not doing their best, but that's a part of the progress. As long as they're making progress, as long as you're seeing change, as long as you're seeing growth, give them grace like you would give yourself grace. And if you're not giving yourself grace, this is the perfect time to do that, okay? Somebody here is trying to heal their family. It says, I know that I am the only person who can bring forth the creativity that lives in my body. I am magic. Yeah, some of y'all, you got creativity stuck in your body. I was getting that with that Empress energy. Maybe you were somebody who would take them on adventures or you would paint, finger paint, or you would do something very fun and out of the blue and they'd be like so happy and, you know, they bring that back because they're missing that. It says, I know that exploring my passions will lead me to my purpose. I am doing what feels good. Yeah, do things that make you guys feel good again. There's like a fun energy that needs to come back into your environment. Fun, 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 fun. Have some fun. Even if you need to rest and recover, if you are, take time off. Spend more time with your family. Spend more time with your family, Aquarius. Time to release this person. Mm. Keep your boundaries with them. If you've released somebody, time to release them. Keep your boundaries with them, Aquarius, because they're affecting your family. It says you're powerful more than you know. Do not give your power away. You have to take accountability because time to rest and recover. Some of y'all, if you're not getting enough sleep, you're not resting and you're always tired, your guides are telling you you need to take accountability because you're not getting sleep. You're not, you're not prioritizing your rest. Forgive yourself because you know you not you gotta know your worth, Aquarius. Forgive yourself. Know your worth. Join a support group. Have some fun. Love your form. It grows with you. You are beautiful just the way that you are. I was getting that. Didn't it say hating on your body or something? Yeah, hating on your body. Love your form, Aquarius. This is just um, some of y'all. This could have been an insecurity of yours here, your body. Um, and your guys are telling you here, um, you're going to have to love your form. It grows with you. Okay. If there, if you want to make changes, that's what this card is for with love your form. It grows with you. Once you decide in your mind, you want to make these changes. Trust me, you're going to have rapid results. So if you decide, Hey, I think I want to get fit or, Hey, I want to gain a little weight. You're going to make sure you put that routine in place to get that done. And if you're not there yet, give yourself grace, give yourself grace. Don't beat yourself down the whole step of the way until you get it done. Give yourself grace.
If it's not today, it's just not today. Remember who you were before the pain. Because that's what it is. Remember you were fun. You you had fun. Remember y'all went outside. Remember there's something about it. Remember y'all used to go outside. Remember y'all used to have fun. Remember y'all used to chase each other in the grass. There's an energy you need to remember. Remember who you were. Soul family. Progress is better than no progress. And look forward and don't turn back. Yeah, save your family, Aquarius. Because you, you have all the time to do that now. Don't allow them to keep getting hurt. Because when you get hurt, this person, I feel you may have been dealing with somebody who don't realize they were just, they wasn't just hurting you. They were hurting the whole family. And maybe you didn't realize that because you were engaging in this, this, this craziness. But it didn't just hurt you. It hurt the whole family. I resonate with this whole reading. Like the video for resonate. Comment down below if you felt the vibe. Subscribe. Peace.